it's uh, basically going through each file, seeing what's wrong, and fixing it. So there's a lot of files and lots of things wrong, so it takes time. Uh, we are mostly there, and like the main changes that went on uh, for the past few months uh, is using uh, strict equals, uh, because JavaScript uh, type uh, check is, is a bit weird. So if we do that strict, uh, that's much better. There's no uh, uh, guessing what, what it's going to be. Uh, the for, uh, having that filtered, so doing a for dot, uh, well, if object has own property, whatever, uh, to check that we don't go up the proto prototype chain. Uh, this was actually a bug in autocomplete. So this kind of things fix bug, even if it's not just uh, making things pretty. Uh, we're using the strict mode of JavaScript. Uh, so we're not going to use the advanced uh, object things. We're just using it to check uh, that we don't have any uh, global variable that, that's leaking because it was not properly, properly declared. Uh, there's been <coughs> quite a lot of them, so now it's fixed. And the, the context change, that's, uh, that was a big one. Um, so because uh, I hate we can use query selector all. And changing all the jQuery to use this uh, format, it's very close to what we're going to do afterwards uh, by not using jQuery. So it just facilitates the change. And well, actually, it's a bit more performant as well, but very it's little useless. So, but still. Uh, so that's what's happening right now. Uh, but we have a lot of things to do, and now I'm just going to talk about uh, each of them, like for one minute or two, and then we're going to be talking about uh, the. the no, that's fine. The going to be too light afterwards. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so uh, talking about um, each of the points for one or two minutes, and afterwards we can, uh, uh, well, we can discuss the rest of it because there's a lot. Uh, it's just going to be for 20 minutes or so, and yeah, after questions. Uh, first one is JavaScript and CSS processing. Um, currently, when you add JavaScript file to Drupal, you have to use Drupal add.js, and then you have some aggregation going on, and maybe some uh, CSS optimization. Uh, but it's very hard to not use. Uh, module like uh, lab.js uh, have to do a lot of complicated things to uh, take over what Drupal does and uh, make that better. So what we want to do uh, is make it pluggable. So not necessarily with Drupal plugins, but just a way to say that, uh, well, my set of files that I added, I want them to be in some group, and I want to minify them, or zip them, or this kind of things. Currently, it's, uh, if you just use what Drupal provides, you can do that. But if you want to have your own thing, it's not possible or very complicated to do. Um, so we want to make this change for Contrib to provide more things for JavaScript. If you want to use less, it would be possible to add a plugin uh, to transform your less into CSS and these kind of things. Uh, but currently, uh, you can't do that. Or, well, you can after a while. Uh, we are talking about using Ascetic, which is a symphony component uh, to handle these kind of things. It's used by a lot of PHP uh, um, projects as well. So it works well, works great. We need to integrate that. Uh, minification. 
uh, Matt Farina uh, in Denver talked about that. And if you remember, there was some uh, issues around licensing that because when you minify, you strip out the commands and license is in the command. And you can't uh, check reliably uh, to say that this block is a command and, you, and is a license and you don't remove it. Uh, so it pretty much killed the issue and we're going to ship with minified files because there's no way around that. So it's going to be like jQuery, they have their development version and their production version. So we're going to have the same kind of things. So it's going to be one extra step for uh, a Drupal release, but I mean that's, uh, that's going to give a lot of improvement, so that's something we need to do as well. Uh, performance. Uh, this links to the jQuery issue. I'm not going to talk about that because uh, the mobile conversation uh, should uh, give you a lot of information about performance and JavaScript. Uh, we can talk about that if you want, but not now. Um, after, we want to have JavaScript modules. So, any of you know Node.js? Yeah? Yeah, so you know Command.js, which is uh, the format to make uh, Node modules. So you have a uh, variable equal require or something and this kind of stuff. Uh, so that's great, but we just can't use that in Drupal right now. Uh, and we need to. Uh, so there are a few steps uh, to do to have that uh, available. Uh, but th the most important thing is that it's not, we're not talking about turning Drupal JavaScript into CommonJS or AMD, which is the uh, same kind of uh, specification. We're talking about defining the dependencies for everything. So we have the hook library info. When Drupal uh, in 7, it's hook library. And this allows you to say that this library is going to add JavaScript, CSS, and other dependencies on some other library. Uh, so that's exactly what CommonJS and IME do. Uh, but we do that from PHP because that's what we do, that's Drupal. And uh, the last issue is something that was started uh, Sunday, and it's pretty much done, and it just turns everything into libraries and use Drupal add library to, to add everything. Uh, so there's something that linked to that. It's a Drupal bug. Uh, so right now in Drupal 7, you uh, you can't have a page without JavaScript. It's not possible. There's always jQuery and Drupal, even if you don't use it. Uh, by declaring all the dependencies, we can uh, avoid that. And uh, it actually solves the problem by itself. Uh, so, so it's not just about pretty JavaScript as well. It's fixing bugs. I think there are like two tests that are still failing, uh, but should be easy enough to, to fix, so <laughs> Th that's good. So when you do changes, you need to test them. And basically, right now, we are at the same level as Drupal 6 uh, for PHP. You make a change, you hope it doesn't break. And it breaks, so uh, we need testing somehow. Uh, there's a test swarm module which was, works great. Uh, it's just not really going to be in, uh, in core for Drupal 8. I mean, there's too much work to be done, and this is not in the scope. But it works, and you can test Drupal with this module. Uh, there are some tests, but we need more. So we need people to write them. Uh, the test word module actually catch bug in uh, Drupal core and uh, regressions as well. So, I mean, this stuff works. <coughs> you can use it. Uh, and we want to have new features. Yeah, because that's the way it works. Uh, I put jQuery UI, be UI because uh, today Drupal, Drupal 8 doesn't use jQuery UI anywhere. It's just defined in the hook library, but nothing uses it. Uh, it used to be dashboard, 
but now it's out. So uh, it's just convenience for country, but it's outdated. So well, <laughs> we need to, to find a way to make that work better. Um, Vue is going to get into core, hopefully. And this will add uh, like models, drop down buttons, stuff from C tools. And we need to figure out how to integrate that best uh, with Drupal. Core. <laughs> uh, then there's a WYSIWYG thing, like the Spark initiative. Uh, I'm not sure what is going to, to be changing for Drupal core, but that's something to keep in mind uh, later on. Uh, and there's also uh, feature detection for mobile. To, so to say that uh, this browser doesn't support the date input or something, and you want to add JavaScript to, to polyfill that. Uh, we don't have feature detection in core. I don't think we should have it, but that's not up to me. It, we need discussion and agreement, and that's where you guys uh, can help. Uh, like what are the use cases, uh, the problem you would encounter with feature detection, this kind of stuff. We need to have data to, to make a decision somewhere. And with new features, it's new code, more code, and we need uh, better code. And we can, first step is coding standards. We have them for PHP, we have coder checking for them. Uh, and we have like other stuff, and in JavaScript, not really. So we went with JS Hint. Uh, do you all know about JS Hint or JS Mint? Yeah? No. You don't know about that, all right. Uh, so basically, it's, um, you can go to jslint.org, and basically you have a text area, you, you copy-paste your JavaScript into that, and it's going to check for common mistakes. For example, you didn't declare a variable, so it leaks to the global scope, or you did uh, a weird construct that's error prone, these kind of things, it can uh, tell you to not do that. And, and this is an automatic check, so there's a command line tool for JS int, and you can run that anytime uh, on the JavaScript of core, for a country for JavaScript. Uh, we are mostly done with fixing that. It's in the to-do of the rest of the cleanup. Uh, the first thing to, to solve is JSON because it's, it's warning and, I mean, just moving code around to make it uh, better. Uh, so that's easy enough to fix, but I mean, needs to be fixed. And there's uh, maybe five files that still need to be uh, uh, resolved. Then we have selectors. Uh, so jQuery selectors are great, uh, but the way we used that we used them, uh, it was not very good. Like the, it wasn't very performant because of weird constructs, and we need to make that simpler and faster uh, because that's like the main uh, the, the main reason why a script is slow, at least in Go. The bad selectors. Uh, we need to refactor a lot of JavaScript, uh, like table header, table drag, uh, pretty much everything, basically, because that's old code, like I said earlier. It's five years old code. It's not like that. We don't do that anymore. And there's the rest of the JavaScript cleanup tag to, to solve as well. Uh, yeah, so I mean, there's I it's maybe 20, 40 issues for that. So, I mean, you have you, you can do JavaScript work if you want to. But, uh, oh, yeah, bugs. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's that happens sometimes. So, I'm, I'm just taking the JavaScript component. Uh, so, if you go to Drupal.org and you search for issues, you can select by component. I'm just selecting bugs from the JavaScript component. But keep in mind that there's a JavaScript tag as well, because there's JavaScript in overlay, in, uh, well, everywhere there's JavaScript. So this is just the component and bugs for Drupal 7 and 8. Yeah. 
So since you, you all have IRC and you can ask uh, the bot to resolve the titles, you can see that the first one is something I broke on Sunday. <laughs> it's the overlay. <laughs> so uh, that's a one line fix, but it's break the overlay, so that's bad. Uh, the second one is the dependency thing I was talking about, that in Drupal 7 you can't um, not have JavaScript on the page. Uh, so this is mostly fixed, but it still needs uh, some work. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so that the, on the white background. The third one, it's the table header overlay fragment mess. So when you, when you follow uh, a link with an anchor on another page, if you use the overlay, uh, it's not going to work. And if you don't use the overlay, you're going to have the table header uh, well, on top of that, or the toolbar even. So this is something broken, and we need to fix it. But it takes uh, work to fix that. Uh, so from C tools, we already have the states API, which come from the dependency script uh, from C tool. And this is the issues in being cred something. Uh, so it's great, it works well for works well for uh, oh it's gone. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, it works great but there are still uh, big bugs on it. So I mean nobody uses it so that's fine, but uh, it needs to be fixed uh, pretty quickly. And the blue ones are table-related uh, bugs. So that's table header, table drag, and this kind of thing. Uh, so you can see that that's like 50 issues uh, just for bugs in JavaScript. Uh, and there's uh, four times as much, as many, uh, when you take tasks, feature requests, and the uh, JavaScript tag. Uh, so I mean, uh, it's been a one-man show for uh, a few months. Now people are starting to get interested in it, but we still need a lot more people to uh, contribute. When you fix bugs, you need to tell people not to do it again. So that's documentation. And uh, we didn't use to have documentation because that's comments in a JavaScript file and it uh, makes the file bigger. And we don't want to make the JavaScript file uh, bigger. Uh, so now that we are going to minify it, it's going to get removed. So we can actually comment and document uh, our JavaScript. Uh, but then the problem, uh, which tool are we using to document that? Uh, JSDoc works really well. But the head of documentation at some point uh, tried it out and didn't, uh, there are still bugs that, that make it, uh, we can't really use it right now because there are a few things to change in JSDoc. But the maintenance for, for JSDoc is very nice, so you can, I mean, I send a pull request, he integrated that in a few hours, so that's very easy to contribute to. And the problem with JSDoc are pretty easy to fix. So if we have someone who can contribute back, we can have uh, documentation in our JavaScript, and hopefully at some point on api.drupal.org. And this is a very big issue because uh, so I'm a consultant, so I travel a lot, and I see a lot of people, and Drupal people. Uh, and they just don't know about behaviors because that, I mean, it doesn't say anywhere that you should be using behaviors and not jQuery not ready to do things. And when you explain to them, it makes sense, and they use it, but they need to find out. Uh, and currently, they don't. Uh, so we really need that on api.drupal.org, somehow. So this was about uh, JSDoc, but there are other projects we can contribute to uh, to make our JavaScript better. 
so jQuery, we already sent a few things to them. And uh, the other one as well. Uh, jQuery UI. Uh, we are not using jQuery UI in core because of accessibility issues. The autocomplete we have is better than the jQuery UI 1.8 autocomplete. And that's why it's not jQuery UI for <laughs> autocomplete right now. Uh, but this was fixed in the 1.9 version. So we can actually change it. And there's a patch to review for that. Uh, JSDoc to fix the last issues around that. So require JS, actually not really, because there's a, um, well, we use it in a sandbox, and it just works. So that's, but the guy who do require JS uh, has a lot of knowledge, so we can uh, benefit from that. We, we just need to, to come up with a proper way of managing JavaScript in Drupal, and we can benefit from a whole community of JavaScript developers. And Adwa, because uh, I was at the sprint with them, so it was last month, and they are very, very good JavaScript developer. And I mean, they know what they do, and that, that would be great if people like them uh, came into Drupal to do Drupal JavaScript, uh, because we need people like them. So that's it for me. Uh, I'm just putting the list of uh, the things we went through, and now it's questions. So uh, do you want me to explain something, explain it better, differently, or just talk about something else? Ooh. Yeah. I, I think you need to just uh, work up there. <laughs> yeah, it's for the recording. So. Where can we go to help you with all this? <laughs> um, you can go into the core issue queue. Or you can talk to me afterwards as well. <laughs> that works. And in the core issue queue, you have the JavaScript component. You have the JavaScript tag. And you have the JavaScript cleanup tag to do some more specific and maybe easier review and fixes. So is that something? Yeah, because also, we really need documentation. So explaining to people how to do JavaScript, and because the current documentation on Drupal.org is not that good, uh, well, it's there, so that's good, but it could be much better. Yeah, so basically reviewing and documentation. That would help a lot. Other question about maybe, I uh, don't know, performance. I didn't really go into details, but there's a like 200 comment issue on that, so. Talk about performance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so performance, the problem is mobile. Uh, so Drupal 8 is supposed to be mobile, but jQuery is big. It's like 32 kilobytes of JavaScript uh, zipped. And it's not a caching issue. Uh, because even if you have uh, JavaScript in your browser cache, it takes a long time to initialize on page load. And this is not something that can be avoided because of the way it works. Uh, so basically, there's a jQuery.support object, which tells you if, you're, if the browser is supporting like position fixed or some other CSS thing. And this is checked by adding DOM elements to the body, doing some things, and removing, removing them on each page load. And that's something you can't avoid, avoid at least not until jQuery 2. Uh, and that's why I wanted to not use jQuery to be able, on some pages of Drupal core, to not have it. Because we only use events of jQuery, and that's not 32 kilobytes of JavaScript to manage events. So that's the main reason why uh, jQuery should be limited in core. And because we can use query selector, which is actually much faster than the Caesar way. I even checked the last update of Caesar, which is a jQuery selector engine. Uh, it's supposed to be much faster, but 
I don't know about that. Uh, I need to check. Um, also, something interesting about uh, performance is that if we use modules like AMD, you can uh, load your JavaScript asynchronously. So that may be not something you want to do all the time, but it's something uh, that would be possible if we had this kind of uh, well-structured JavaScript um, or like on-demand uh, script loading. So you click on a button, it adds a new JavaScript file because it wasn't needed before, and it does things afterwards. So uh, well, that's something that could be done as well uh, with better JavaScript. They came in too late. No, no, nobody, nobody's talking now. <laughs> We're just watching each other until it finished. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a question about the modules. Um, does that mean um, that you'll bundle the modules as well so that we can like one file rather than you know, eight different JavaScript files, or did I miss that? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's that's. <laughs> I know. Bundle minify module. <laughs> no. that, that's actually possible to have several modules into one file. Right. Well, I don't know about command JS, but I know that in with IMD it's possible, cool. and you can have several defined code uh, inside of one file. Mm -hmm. So if you set uh, the aggregation of JavaScript file. Mm -hmm. If we have the hook library thing in, we can actually generate the defined um, the defined call. Okay. So we don't have to put that <coughs> into the JavaScript files, and we would actually be able to get rid of the file level closure. So the parents function jQuery blah blah blah. Yeah. We can get rid of that as well. Cool. We could. <laughs> But so any who who here knows about JavaScript, like is confident that you can do good JavaScript. <laughs> is confident that you can do JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so why are you? Well, we can maybe shut the door and get you to work on some issues <laughs> 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 for a few days uh, because that would fix like most of the problems we have right now. So. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to contribute to JavaScript. It just, I mean, takes people to get started. Because, I mean, it's JavaScript, it, the bugs are uh, weird, but they are pretty easy to fix when you know what to look for. And if you need the help with that, I can uh, guide people to whatever is needed to do uh, to fix the issue, or maybe even teach people if that's what's needed to get uh, more contributors. Thank you. Yeah, and you know JavaScript, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like I say, it doesn't take much. Um, any other question? I guess we can uh, finish. Just uh, I'm here until tomorrow afternoon, and I ah oh, okay. Right. One more question. Uh, is is there any resource for for documentation and and getting to understand what JS in in Drupal at all? I've 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 uh, I do a lot of JavaScript, but I have haven't used the Drupal part at all because. There's no documentation, and um, yeah. I don't even really understand what behaviors are actually. <laughs> um, and um, so it's it's um, it's so well. What's your what's the main thing you don't so get? So how do I? Well, um, because I, I mean I can't reply because there's nothing like there's no resource to to get that and and uh, apart from reading the JavaScript code and trying to understand it. So yeah, but what's the main part I can start with? Yeah. 
Um, maybe I should join the documentation part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that may be good. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, and this is actually a very common news, uh, a very common feedback I get is that, yeah, that's good. You have all that, but we don't know about it, and it doesn't really make sense when you, when you're not from Drupal. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be here until tomorrow and uh, not after that. So if you have JavaScript question, if you want more information or anything, you can uh, ask me that until tomorrow and afterwards in the issue view. Um, but yeah, yeah, we need help <laughs> badly. <laughs>